Jakob's exhibition merges everything LAS stands for. The past with the future, art with the latest technology and science. Bell Bell is a virtual environment that brings back to life lost sensibilities and perspectives on wetlands and swamps. My conversation with LAS to make this artwork, Bell Bell, started through a conversation with curator Emma Enderby. We started talking about two years ago about environments that could be interesting to work with. And I came up with the idea of working with wetlands. The reason that I've been working with wetlands is that normally when we think about climate change and uh, kind of ecological disaster, we think about a melting glacier or the vanishing of a jungle or a specific butterflies or birds and ales that are vanishing. But really, the world right beneath our feet everywhere is changing. And one landscape that I found uh, of big inspiration to me as an artist was wetlands and swamps because they're kind of overlooked. But really, 10% of biodiversity on the planet comes from wetlands, and they cover only 1% of the surface of the planet. Berlin, first of all, is positioned in the middle of a large wetland. But also, the word Berlin itself comes from the word Bel, which in old Slavic words means swamp and wetland. So the very name of the city is actually referring to wetlands. So I started researching languages and different mythologies pertaining to wetlands and swamps in this area. And from that I found like a lot of different mythologies, tales and songs and really poetic text um, from before like modern time, but also pre-Christian perspectives on what it meant to kind of belong to the landscape in a wetland. Museums of natural history are big sources of inspiration to me. They are kind of these almost ghost archives in the sense that you can listen to a bird that's extinct through a sound recording from the past. You can look at species and see their like feathers or the eye of an insect. My collaboration with the Museum of Natural History in Berlin was a way of kind of time traveling to past landscapes in Berlin. So what I was doing with them was talking to experts who knows about wetlands and swamps around the city and different amphibians, birds and insects that live here in the present. And I also work with them to digitize different specimens and work with sound recordings of different species, both from the past and the present. I've been spending an entire year uh, in Berlin working in the landscapes here and going out into different swamps surrounding the city with a camera, and I use a technology referred to as photogrammetry. So this means that you take over like a few hours in a single day, you take up to 2,000 photographies of a single object in nature. It can be like a root, it can be a flower, it can be some mud, it can be some water, it can be different organic elements in the environment. So you take 1,000 photos, and then these individual photos becomes individual 3D objects. To create all my artworks, I increasingly collaborate with many other artists. And to create Bell Bell, I work with the sound artist Matt McCoggle and a sound technology artist, uh, Luke O'Neill, and the singer Arka, who's been singing different vocals. And the vocals that Arka made are inspired by past languages around Berlin. Burl Burl is a portal to our past and to our future. It is a reminder of the worlds beneath our feet. When people enter Bell Bell inside of Halle am Bergheim, they're entering a building, architecture, but they're also entering a virtual environment with nine different screens that are journeying through a digital swamp. And as they journey through this digital environment, they're sending out signals to 30 speakers in the building. They create little hyper-localized sound pockets with different frogs, water, mud, and different um, weather effects from the environment that are kind of creating this organic effect in the building as you're moving through it. 
Barrel Barrel is not only the reimagining of an ecology, it's the emotion of a swamp, it's sensibility, history and mythology, and the language and the stories we've told to try and understand it. Bell Bell is a song for the swamp. It's a beautiful, poetic environment that seeks to revitalize wetland sensibilities, poetry, and mythologies. <laughs> 